Hi friends, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm coming to you from the Elkhart County Fair. I thought what better setting to share devotion today than the week of the Elkhart County Fair. So here I am. I wanted to follow up on the sermon last week. If you were here or you watched it, you remember we talked about uh, Luke 7, 36 to 50, where uh, Jesus was invited to Simon the Pharisee's house for a meal. And the woman who was identified as a sinner showed up and did this enormous act of love. Let me read those couple of verses because I want to emphasize that in the devotion this afternoon. So I'm going to read uh, Luke 7, 36. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. Verse 37. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar of perfume. As she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. Now, this is an extraordinary act of love. It's a response for what Jesus had done for her. If you read the other gospel accounts, it could be Mary Magdalene, and uh, she was a prostitute. Also, other accounts describe her as a woman who had seven demons. So here's someone who encountered Jesus and had a life-changing event occur. And because of that, she was so grateful that here she comes to this event at Simon the Pharisee's house and, demonstrate, and demonstrates this act of love. What I really want us to see is this, this perfume, this alabaster jar filled with perfume that she poured on Jesus' feet. We're told that the perfume that she probably had there was worth a year's wage. Yes, a whole year's wage she poured on Jesus' feet. And so what do we get from this story that we can apply to our own lives? First of all, are we grateful? Are we grateful for what Jesus has done in our lives? And secondly, do we demonstrate gratitude to others? Here she gave all that she had, a year's worth of wages. She bought the perfume and didn't just put a drop on Jesus' feet. She gave it all. So the question is, as we consider our own lives, are we giving Jesus our time? Our time, what is a priority? What do we do with our time? Are we giving Jesus just a drop? Are we giving him a few minutes here and there, but we might spend hours behind this screen on our computers, on our laptops, on our phones, hours, hours upon hours? How much time are we giving Jesus? I hope we prioritize in Jesus first and foremost. And then our talents. What are we doing with our talents? Are we using our gifts and talents that Jesus has given us to share and use with others? You've been hearing off and on for the last, oh, I'd say, number of months, how we at Clinton Frame, our church family, needs volunteers. We need people to give of their talents, working with children, working with youth, greeters, ushers, whatever it might be. Would you consider the talents that Jesus has given you and using them anew, using them afresh, or using them for the first time as a sign of gratitude and appreciation for what Jesus has done for you? And then thirdly, maybe it's just your resources. Maybe you're in a position that you could give to financially support the ministries. And then may God bless you as you continue to do that, or maybe even decide to increase a little bit because of your gratitude for what Jesus has done. As I'm sitting here and I'm watching people go by, I can't imagine how many people here uh, are broken, are wounded, are struggling. They put on a brave face as they come and go, participate at the fair, but I wonder how many are in need. And it's my prayer that as we move forward and not only showing appreciation for what Jesus has done for us, but in using our time and using our gifts and using our resources to help the ministry at Clinton Frame grow so we can minister to people like this who might be coming our way as we reach out to them. 
Friends, I pray you accept that challenge. In Jesus' name, amen.